Apple Hut up, Mr. J.M. Fitch, J-Rock, Justin. Looking pretty scruffy today. I'm out in my uh, my kayak here. Just picked this up about a half hour ago. A little treat to myself for working two jobs and all the time, hence why uh, very little videos. But um, rocking my new paddle, my new kayak. Thought I'd do my uh, contest entry for you. Um, thing I wanted to show you here is uh, I picked this up, I don't know, probably a month ago. This is my uh, Sunto Core watch. Um, of course I got it set on military time right now because I'm trying to learn that for a uh, future career. Um, you're going to have to bear with me, I don't have a tripod out in the kayak. So, um, cool couple cool things that I like about the, uh, the watch is obviously I got the time and date set there. It's pretty straightforward. Next thing, I've got an altimeter, um, so I can know my elevation. Really nice when climbing, um, and I can set it to chart my progress. So every 15 minutes or so, it'll uh, take a little log of the elevation. That way, you can track how many uh, feet you're climbing per hour or whatever, if that's handy to you. So. Um, that's pretty cool. It's also got a uh, barometer built into it. So, I don't know if you can... You're, yeah, it's not in barometer mode right now. Let me change that really quick here. Hang in there. See if I can kind of get a shot. I'm doing this. Sorry guys. Okay, there you go. So now there's our barometric pressure and the temperature. Um, and if you look at this little arrow right up there in the corner, that is giving me what the barometer has been doing for the basically last six hours. Um, so you can tell if a storm's coming in, if you're going to get some nicer weather, if you're going to have a heat wave. Um, the watch has also got a uh, storm alarm built into it. So basically, if it detects that there's a storm coming in by the falling barometer, um, it will alarm you and basically tell you to set up shelter. The uh, last cool thing this thing's got is it's got a digital compass. So I can set my bearings and I always have a compass on, my, on hand, even though I would carry a, um, a legitimate uh, liquid-filled compass. Uh, just because I don't think you can always rely on technology, but it definitely is uh, better than having nothing. So, um, you know, you if you don't know how to use a compass, I'm not going to explain it to you, but um, it's very cool. It gives you the degrees and actually the kind of general direction. Um, the, the watch has also got a, uh, a depth meter on it, so if you're snorkeling, it will uh, keep track of your depth down to 30 feet. The watch is waterproof down to, I want to say 10 meters, or 100 meters, I'm not really sure. Um, waterproof enough for me, I'm not a Navy SEAL, so uh, I don't think I'm ever going to test it out. Um, I'd love to show you how waterproof it is in the water, but watch my paddle disappear. This is just the nastiest water in the world. But, uh... Anyway, just out here hanging out on the kayak, enjoying the beautiful sunset. Actually not far out of the cities, I'm actually just in a suburb of Minneapolis and you would uh, never know it by being out on this lake except for the water quality. So, uh... But yeah man, congratulations on your subs. Um, look forward to getting one of those bracelets whether I win one or not. Um, I'd love to win that pocket rocket, that's a sweet little stove. But uh, I already got one so I don't need that, but I'll still take it. So. Uh, anyway, that's my watch. Check it out. I figured you'd dig that. You're kind of into stuff like that. So uh, if you want to know some more about it, let me know. I can maybe do a review or something. I'm trying to get down on more videos, but um, J-Rock, enough about me. Congratulations, man. You've uh, you've been on YouTube for way less time than me. You've got way more videos, way more subscribers. So uh, I'm happy for you, man. It's nice to be able to interact with you again. Um, Till next time, peace out.